Yeah, should have We the Hebrew Israelites oh. coming here every week to prophesy the down for this wicked kingdom, which is ruled by the so-called white man. You can all, aka Esau, Edom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Karakadash, Bashem, Karakadash. Double honor unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that taught us the truth. Shout out to the sincere Akim out there and to the sincere sisters out there. Shout out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, as I was trying to say, you know, this uh, world is, uh, you know, given to the hands of the wicked. You know, the wicked are uh, the Edomites, the so called uh, Caucasians today. You know, and you see that by, you know, the way they rule this earth, man. And again, you know, we're here on the highways and hedges to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Because, you know, if you uh, look around here, these uh, damn billboards about legal love, you know, uh, yeah, they say, uh, you know, uh, 20 years of marriage for everyone. You know, and marriage is between a man and a woman, man. That's just what it is. It's not uh, no, no bullshit uh, between man and man. Man and man, that, that's death, you know? So, um, if you can go into, because uh, this, this whole kingdom is, is, is polluted by this, uh, you know, devil is, uh, you know, do what uh, thou wilt spirit, man. You can go to, uh, yeah. It's the book of Romans, chapter one, verse uh, 26, for this case, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections, for even their woman did change, did change the natural you start youth. Start a little bit higher, man. Start at uh, 24? Yeah. <coughs> First, uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 24. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness, to the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Yeah, man, the monster just, you know, it's the same on the, over the most time, man. He just let him, man, you know? And the God of this world, can you get 2 Corinthians 4 and 4? Because a lot of people that believe in this shit, you know, and that don't get the truth, you know, they are blinded, man. The God of this world blinded you, man. Which is Satan. You, you can get uh, Luke 4 and 4, and then you can get uh, Corinthians. Can you read? Uh, this uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. In whom the Most High of this world had blinded the minds of them. No, which... no, no, read it as it is. God, salah here. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believed not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image of. Uh, yeah, the rest with the God of this world, you know, it rules the one that is uh, ruling this earth right now, man. Who, who is the one that uh, showed the Lord, Yahweh Shai, uh, all the glories of, you know, of the coming kingdoms, man? In, uh, you know, in, in the soda hologram, you know, he showed them everything, man. No, but yeah, you can read it again from the top. Come on. In whom the power of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who yeah, is of the, Lord. of the Lord, who is the image of power, should shine on to them. Yeah, man. So, you know, a lot of people are blinded, man. And it's all by the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man, to let these, uh, you know, uh, the ones that are in this world believing in everything that the devil is saying, you know, the so-called white man, and that follow their own heart, you know. That's the philosophy of this world, man. We have uh, uh, a duty, man. Can you get uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 12, verse uh, 13? You can read uh, And also, can you grab uh, Ephesians 2? And 2 Thessalonians. Uh, Ecclesiastes. <coughs> Chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Yeah, man, this is the duty of all men, man. Fear Yahweh and keep His commandments, man. Not to do what thou wilt. You know, not to follow your own heart, man. Because, you know, he that follow it, his own understanding. Yeah, yeah man, so uh, if you um, can you get the Proverbs, uh, the Third chapter, if I'm correct, from uh, first three on down. And you can, uh, yeah. Come on, this is Proverbs chapter three, verse three. Let not mercy and truth forsake. No, Salafia, uh, or six. In all thy ways acknowledge him. Yeah, a little bit higher, about leaning upon thine own uh, understanding. Come on, this is the first five. Proverbs chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Most High with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. 
Okay. Time, you know, trust in, in the Heavenly Father with all your heart. Your heart means love, your mind, you know, because your, 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 your heart, in a literal sense, is the muscle that pumps blood. You, you know, perceive with your eyes, you know, it gets, you know, translated here in your brain. Then you get that adrenaline, uh, adrenaline rush because, because you see something that you might fear or, you know, something that uh, gets you, uh, gets your blood flowing, you know. And what does that? That's your heart, man. So, with all your heart, your, in this case, your mind, you need to, uh, you know, trust Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Read. Read on. Come on. Um, in the Proverbs. Yeah, I. Uh, trust in the Most High with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Verse 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Yeah, man, that's what we need to be doing, you know. Can you get the. Uh, Proverbs uh, 24, uh, 20 and 24. Come. So, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths, man. And that's what we're doing, man. Yahweh Bashar. We trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And, you know, how, how can a man uh, knows, know his own ways, man? All steps are of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai anyway, man. You know? People think that they got it going on, you can do whatever you want, but at the end of the day, you will uh, walk the path that you. Uh, need to walk, man. It's not of you. This this is all orchestrated by Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. It's all the movie, the scriptures, you know, the scripts, you know, of the the Heavenly Father, man. And this is his movie just playing out, you know. And Yahweh Zah, we are the good guys in the movie that are going to make it. But in this, uh, uh, you know, age, he's of flipped everything upside down. You know, a lot of times you see in the movies that. Their heroes are our enemies, man. You know? So, in this world, world you know, we, Yaradza, you know, are the, are the good guys in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Because if we are the good guys in the eyes of uh, these devils, then we would be in a bad case, man. You know? They would uh, be extolling us, basically, you know, giving us uh, platforms left and right to pro uh, proclaim uh, the truth. But it's the other way around. They're trying to push us back because we are bringing out uh, things that destroy their uh, their their, their, their uh, grasp upon this uh, world, man, and upon the minds of the people. You know. But um, yeah, can you read the uh, Proverbs uh, 20 and uh, 24? This is Book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Man's going out of the Most High. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, man, so, yeah, I, I thought it was in the other chapter as well. But, uh, yeah, man, so how, man's going to of, of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, how can a man knows, know his own ways? It is all by the Heavenly Father, as I already explained. Can you get the uh, Proverbs uh, 28 and 26? Oh. Can you get the uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9? This is Proverbs chapter, chapter 28, verse 26. He that trusted in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walked wisely, he shall be delivered. Yeah, man, so can you read it again? Because a lot of people, you have songs, listen to your heart, you know? Mm. All those uh, big hits, you know? That's, that's not what the most I wants, man. Listen to your heart and what, what else, man? You have a lot of things, man, uh, that... Uh, that, that people, uh, you know, I just talked about it this morning, man. But hey, that's one of the, the, the most famous songs, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Listen to your heart, you know, back in the days. And that's not something that we should do, man. That is unwise. Hey, so, so, so that's not a, a, a wise thing to do, man. You can't read? Uh, he that trusted in his own heart is a fool. But whoso walked wisely, he shall be delivered. Yeah, I me mean, see? So that shows you already that it's not wise to, you know, lean upon your own understanding, you know? That, that you're following your own understanding, your own heart, you know? Because who are we, man? You know, we need to be, uh, uh, you know, changed according to the, the ways of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know? It's not, that, that, that it's not the other way around. We are the ones that are, you know, lost in this, uh, in this world, man, in, in darkness. You know, we were in darkness. Now we came into the marvelous light, man. Shine through Yahweh, uh, through Yahweh, through, uh, by Yahweh, through Yahweh, shine, man, unto us. Now we can shine that light, man. That's the scripture say, man. But um, 
you read the Jeremiah. Okay, get Psalm 27 and 23. Come. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yeah, man, so the heart is, is, is uh, deceitful, man. You know? My mind is, that's what the thing, that was the thing that I was thinking about. My mind is, uh, my mind is playing tricks on me. You know, you have the ghetto boys, you have a lot of, you know, uh, uh, proverbs in the world, you know. You know, your mind is playing tricks on you, man. You're basically, you're bugging out, you know. So, that that's already showing you that the heart is deceitfully wicked, man. You, you might think something, but it is the whole other thing. That's why in, in the scriptures also, when certain things uh, pop up, or... You know, when, when situations need to be uh, addressed, you need uh, witnesses, man. You know, in certain cases, you know. So there's an order in a, uh, in a way of doing things, so things can be dissolved in a, in a uh, righteous and a rightful manner, man. You know, so that this is uh, can you read this again. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked, who can know it? Yeah, man, who can know it, man? You know, the heart is is deceitfully wicked, man. You know, you have all types of things going on, man. Demons can jump on you, but yet you have people that are proclaiming, I right, just listen to your heart, man. You know, just follow the voices, uh, you know. Uh, it, 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 might, it might seem bad, but really, you know, it's good to, to follow your own, uh, you know. You, you, nah, man. You need to listen to that, to that right voice, man, that of Yahweh Basham Shai, that's something else, and that you're. You will know, you know, if you're walking in spirit, that it is the good way, man. And these devils, they play with your minds by bringing in, uh, you know, these these movies, songs and on the radios, you know, all types of video clips showing you that it is good to commit adultery, it's good to be, uh, you know, a damn uh, sodomite, and such and such, man. You know, even a woman was like, huh? You know, you know. It, it, if she would hear like a small part, <laughs> you know, and, and she would run with it, that's just another thing, man, that a lot of people love to do. They don't want to seek out the whole matter. They just want to hear a little piece and then they think that's it, you know. That's why we need to, you know, study ourselves and prove until Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. The work will not need to be ashamed, rightly defining the word of truth, man. So it takes time, man. You need to, you know, develop, man, and let uh, yourself be cleansed through the Spirit, you know, uh, because all these wicked ways, it, you know, oh, it doesn't bother me, so, you know. Nah, man, you either with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai or against it. You either, because the scriptures are very clear when it comes to these sodomites. You know, so we're going to get into a few more of those uh, scriptures. Um, you have the Psalms? Can you get the Sarah uh, 6 and 2? Man, it's freezing. It's cold, man. It's cold outside. <laughs> which, which first you wanted again? Uh, 27 and 25. Uh, 23, Salah. 23, okay. 37 and uh, 23. 23. This is the, the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Most High, and he delighted in his way. Yeah, man, you see? So the steps of a good man are ordered by the Most High, man, and he delighted in his way. You know, so again, it's all Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. It's all a gift if you walk in this faith or if you walk out in this world. You know, the most I just let you go, man. It's like the brother read in, uh, in uh, the Romans, man. Because you, if you think that the most I uh, condones this behavior, this wicked behavior, you're out of your damn mind, man. Because man with man is the equals death, equals, uh, you know, a, a, a woman and a, a man and a woman, they bring forth life, man. You know, and these people are pro depopulation. You need to think in a in a broader, uh, basically, aspect of how you say in a broader sense. This behavior, these these sodomites, well, you know, these these females, uh, you know, rubbing each other and whatever, it brings forth nothing, man. You know, they can little tingles or whatever, and the demons playing with them, but it doesn't bring forth life. A man and a woman get down. You know, hey, I don't even have to go in it, man. The Most High made everything perfect, man. So, if the Most High allows, you know, uh, your womb to be, uh, you know, filled up and that you can conceive, you know, a child, that you can be pregnant and later give birth, you know, because 
children are of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. That's another thing. But that brings forth that uh, that that uh, uh, continues a man's bloodline if it's a son, man. So if Esau is like, ah, man, y'all be a bunch of faggots, a, a fag of boss, my bad, because, uh, you know, Esau wants to pull down videos. Uh, me, man, all, I have a few channels and two of them are strike, man. So you need to be very careful. You need to tiptoe around this devil nowadays, man, which is very annoying, man. But if you don't, then you get your channel strike. So that's another thing. But, um, you know, Esau is, is all about, you know, coming out with uh, this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, it's all about this, 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 uh, you know, wicked, uh, satanic practice, man. This, this, uh, Baphomet type of lifestyle, man. Half man, half woman. That's why you have these, uh, uh, you know, when you read it and when you, uh, see the comments, even you see in the comments that even the people get confused, man. You know, he, she, uh, whatever it is, man, you have a damn, uh, uh, you know, female which gave birth. And then got angry that uh, what was it? Because yeah, that, that female, model. yeah, that female that now uh, you know uh, that female now identifies as a man, but she, you know she gave birth. So of course you're gonna be called a mother. And then you know that uh, female flipped out because of uh, one of the people in the hospital, you know, called her what she is because yeah. you know you're a woman and you gave birth you're a female and you gave birth man because a woman is someone that really helps her husband and it's yeah. in the right mind man you know these these, these uh females they're just uh you know they they have they, a they vagina have and that's it yeah. <laughs> and that's it man you know <laughs> you know these 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 rainbow carrying uh, you know and often their rainbow is with six colors also and it shows you also that there's a certain vibration behind that whole uh, you know damn uh, movement man you know and that movement is going to be put to a stop real soon man because Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is just as we went into last week you know their sins are reaching up to the heavens and eventually it's enough man it's a wrap man. You know, this, this, uh, we are out here on the highways and hedges, you know, in season, out of season. You know, it doesn't matter if it's, it's, if, if it's good or bad weather, so, so to say. We out here, man. We're doing our thing, man. We have to do our thing for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, stacking up Yahweh Desire, that spiritual treasure. And, you know, put it out, uh, also that sacrifice, man. You know, put it out, as the Book of Romans says, man. But can you read that? So rough. Yeah, I'm at 6 and 2, and then, um, uh, 37, Sirach 37 and 15 also. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 6. Chapter 6, and uh, 2. Exalt not thyself in the counsel of thine, own, of thine own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull strain alone. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's... Uh, can you read it again? Exalt not thyself in the counsel of thy own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. Yeah, man, it's about, uh, I forgot. Can you read it again for a second? Let me read it, man, because I want something else that goes into, you know, you exalting yourself, and you can be all over the place. You know, bull, this can be a wild animal, man, tearing shit up. Can you get the, let me check that out, and can you get to 30, yeah, check that out, 37 and 15, the book of Sirach chapter 37 verse 15, and above all this pray to the most high that he will direct thy way in truth. Yeah, okay, start a little bit, all right. But the point there is, you know, you need to pray into Yahweh Basham Yahushai so he can direct your, your ways, it's just like in the book of Proverbs, man. You know, let the Most High direct your, your path, man. And not your own, uh, you know, don't be in your mind like, I can do this whole thing, man. I can, I can do this whole thing by myself. I'm the man. No, man. You're not the man. You know, the Most High doesn't need none of us. He can raise up stones to bring forth this truth, man. Let me see, uh, the first 12. 
Yeah, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 37, verse 12. But we continually, with a godly man, whom thou knowest, to keep the commandments of the Most High, who is mighty. Uh, this is something else. Yeah, that point was good. In this scripture, yeah, this scripture is a good scripture, but it's not, uh, in what, uh, not go, it doesn't go in, into that point. Uh, you see, is that a few who haven't been here in a while, man. Can you get uh, Proverbs uh, 19 and 21? You already read 19 and 19 and 16. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 21. There are many de devices in a man's heart, nevertheless, the counsel of the Most High that shall stand. Yeah, read it again a little bit louder. There are many deceive deceivers. Devices? A slug, yeah. There are many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, of the Most High that shall stand. Yeah, man, so you can think a lot of stuff, man, but at, at the end of the day, you know, the Lord's will, you know, the, the, that will happen, man. You know, you can think everything you want, but the, the you know, you, like these devils, they think they got it going on, but what will happen in the end of the day, what the most high wants, man. And the funny thing is, if you go to 21 and uh, Proverbs 21 and uh, and 1, they are in control of the most high as well, man. So they might think in their wicked mind that they have, you know, some excellent, uh, you know, counsel that, you know, far exceeds the most high in their wicked minds, you know, but they can't. Read. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the most high, as the rivers of waters, he turning it whithsoever he will. Yeah, man, so the king's heart, doesn't matter, you know, your, your presidents, all of them leaders around the world, you know, their mind, you know, their heart is in the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, because he put them there, man. He is the one that you know, you know, puts all these kings in their seats and, you know, also puts them down. Just like with Pharaoh, the same case happened, man. The thing that happened with Pharaoh is he got exalted to a certain extent that people see, uh, were seeing him as a god, man. Can you get that in Romans? But if you have another precept, you can get it as well. Can yeah. you get the Daniel 4? You get Romans. Oh, you don't say that. Huh? You want to? Oh. Yeah, that happens, man. I got a lot of those, man. These scriptures, uh... You said Roman. You have it? No. I got Exodus 73. Yeah, you read? Pharaoh's heart. Yeah, but I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply the... Read it, call it and read it. So like it. Exodus 7 and 3. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my sights and my wonders in in the land of Egypt. Yeah, man, and th that's a very good scripture, man. So you see that the Most High, he hardened uh, the heart of Pharaoh, man, you know? So uh, everything that happened there was by the will of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, of, of, of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, man. He, he uh, turned uh, everything uh, upside, uh, you know, uh, basically upon the head. He recompensed Pharaoh with all times. Uh, basically, he punished him for not letting uh, his people go, man. You know, same thing with uh, the modern uh, king of Egypt. You know, if you go now to uh, to Babylon, you know, the daughter of Babylon, or, or spiritually Sodom and Egypt, you know, these devils up in America, they're gonna get the same punishments, man. They're gonna get the, uh, you know, fire, all types of uh, famine, you know, all types of, uh, you know, uh, uh, strange apparitions, you know, spirits messing with them. You know, it's gonna be dark. And eventually, this place, uh, you know, uh, that place will be blown, you know, to uh, desolation, man. 
you know, it's going to be a desert, man. It's going to be inhabited by hateful uh, birds, man. But, you know, by, by you know, you, you, you won't see any uh, of the beauty because, you know, Babylon, America has beautiful spots, man. The people that dwell there right now, they're a bunch of demons, but still, you have beautiful spots there. But, you know, it has to be cleansed, man, by fire. And the chariots will come as well to do some blasting, man. So, uh, let me see. You have the Daniel 4 and 17? <clears throat> it's the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Mosai ruled in the kingdom of men and given it to whosoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. Yeah man, so the most high man, you need, you need to know this, the most high is the one that set up these uh, damn devils man. You know, it's also of course a punishment for our people. If people rule over you that are far mightier than you, you know, stronger, they, uh, you know, uh, highly intelligent, etc. You know, you're gonna be like, I understand, you know, but if the base people, you know, are the ones, if, if they are the ones that are ruling over you, you know, you see that you, ex you know, you, you far, you, you exceed them in everything that you set your mind to, basically, man. That you see that in uh, inventions, you know, and of course, Esau, the so called white man, he takes it and he, you know, has it, uh, you know, he brings it out as if it, it's, if it, you know, as if it's his invention, you know. Same thing with slavery, you know, a lot of things got, uh, you know, Jake makes something, and what does Esau do? Same thing with your modern schools, you know, uh, if you create something in, uh, you know, while you're at, at you know, a certain, uh, I say, the school or whatever, is the intellectual property of the school, it's the school's uh, property, man. You know, that's the whole thing that Esau has been doing. He's stealing shit while you are the creative mind behind it. It doesn't matter what you uh, bring out. Esau's going to run with it, man. And, you know, s s uh, he will say that, hey, I, I created this, or we have created this, you know. He has his technology. He has the, the things on the left-hand side, you know. But a lot of stuff that, that uh, is out there, you know, uh, from the engine to air conditioning to the to the light bulb, you know, to the plane, a lot of stuff, you know, that came out is because of us, man. And Esau ran with it, man. So it is what it is. Go on. Um, can you get yeah, Daniel two, verse uh, twenty-one? I find the Romans, by the way. Okay. Yeah, read the Romans. This Romans chapter nine. Romans chapter nine, verse seventeen. For the Scripture said unto Pharaoh. Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, man, the Most High made Pharaoh, you know, uh, great. So when he got uh, smitten down, then people would be like, hey, this is, uh, you know, this, this will... Now we know that, you know, Pharaoh ain't shit, and that the Most High is very great. You know, if someone is uh, feared like uh, he is, uh, you know, a god, and then he's, he gets, uh, you know, uh, his uh, whole place, you know, torn apart, all types of curses hitting you, the firstborn uh, son, you know, the firstborn sons in the country die, you know, also of the animals, blood in the rivers, frogs, you name it, you know, locusts, you know, all types of uh, things were happening, man spirits dwelling you know all types of crazy stuff what was happening so people were in great fear so if you uh you know smite someone down that is uh you know feared by everyone people are gonna look at you like hey you you're the man you know and that's what the most i did man can you continue reading <coughs> verse 18 therefore had he mercy on whom he, on whom he will have mercy if you're correct you can start like two verses higher or something man. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. Romans chapter 9, verse 15. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So that it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of the Most High that showed mercy. Yeah, man, so everyone that uh, uh, the Most High calls and, you know, brings into this uh, thing, you know, certain people... You know, you might look at them and we all were focused, man. But the most I has mercy upon whom 
he wants to have mercy, man. If you think like, ah, oh, man, no, nah, man, it should be, you need to take a look at yourself, examine yourself. The Most High, you know, had mercy upon you. So the same thing with other people, man. You know, the Most High will have mercy upon whom he will have mercy, man. If you take a look at uh, King David, you know, with the, uh, you know, with the adultery and all that, still he was the beloved of, of uh, the Heavenly Father, man. A lot of people, yeah, that's not fair, man. It's, hey, are, are you, are you always, uh, you know, equal? Are your paths straight, man? As the Most High said, you know, in Jeremiah. You know, you need to take a look at yourself, man. Yeah, read. Verse 17, uh, verse 18, Therefore, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden. So like, and whom he will, he hardened. Yeah, man, so the Most High will have mercy upon whom he will have mercy, man. And whom he wants to harden, you know. If he wants to shut you off, uh, you know, he, and, you know, basically blind you, he can do that, man. It's his choice. He does whatever he wants, man. He's the Most High, you know. You can't go to, you go to the Most High be like, well, what have you done? You know, that's the part of play, as the scriptures say, man, in the book of Isaiah. So, yeah. Verse uh, 20. Nay, but oh man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? You see? So who art thou to reply against the Most High, man? To talk back. And some people are scared to talk back to their parents, but yet they have the stupidity, basically, the balls. You know, to, to, to uh, be complaining to the Heavenly Father, man. What do you know, man? You're just a man. You don't even know the things of man. But yet you think you can uh, come up to the Most High and tell him how things are, uh, you know, about, uh, uh, you know, how, uh, about it should be go going this way or that way, man. It's, 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 it's ridiculous, man. But yeah. Nay, but oh man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Had not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Yeah, man. So the Most High does what he wants. He has uh, vessels unto honor and unto dishonor, man. And you can, if you look into this earth, you know, you see people that the Most High, uh, who he's dealing with, who he's not dealing with, who he cursed, and who he has blessed, man. The same thing can't get that in Sirach, uh, Verse 21. Had not the part of power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the, vessel, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? Verse 23, and that he might make known the riches of his glory unto the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Yeah, man, so, the, you know, the vessels that he had prepared, uh, you know, uh, unto mercy, the ones that are preordained, you know, beforehand, already chosen to make it, man, you know, those are the ones that the Most High is going to deal with, and to them, when the truth is being uh, declared, they're going to, you know, it's going to resonate with their spirit, man, it's going to, you know, click, man. And the ones who are blinded, as the scriptures say, you know, let their tables uh, be a snare unto them, you know, as the elder Ayatan also went into that, you know, because uh, a brother in England, if I'm correct, had a dream about uh, uh, Apostle Tahar, man, being adorned with uh, silver, you know, that shows you that the Most High is well pleased with him, man, you know, and he didn't even have, uh, uh, you know, space left to, <laughs> you know, get more uh, silver, man, more uh, uh, jewelry, man, you know, that required change, and that change is going to be that new body, man, you know, so a lot of people might scoff and, you know, talk that uh, talk from behind their uh, computers, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, he, uh, the Apostle Tahar and the other Apostles, they're doing their jobs for over 30 to 34, 35 years in, in, by now, you know, even more because you know before YouTube they were already you know in the yeah. scriptures and doing yeah. the thing man don't forget like about that man <laughs> you know what maybe 37 yeah man like that. yeah man so don't and if you you mouth off uh, unto them you know you need to be very very careful who you are, are speaking to man you know 
even towards a brother that is uh, next to you, man. You don't know what the Most High, like, uh, you know, the brother just read, the Most High has mercy upon whom he has mercy, you know? So that also, uh, uh, you know, shows you that, hey, be careful who you, who you are talking to. You might have, like, a disdain towards a, a person which the Most High loves. And, hey, if someone loves his children, and someone comes up and shows that hatred, and you see the hatred, or you, someone tries to pull something off, what do you think is going to happen to that uh, person that's trying to charge up to one of the beloved of, uh, you know, uh, one of the beloved children? Of the, and now, in this case, the father. <laughs> hey, you're going to be annihilated, man. The Most High is going to deal with you, man. So let alone the one that, that has many fruit, man. The, the apostles have been doing this, man. So they have lots of fruits, man, you know, that, that, that are now teaching as well, you know. So, and that brought forth, you know, more fruit. And that's, that's crazy, man. Yeah, good. So, uh, yeah, can you continue? Uh, you have the Surah? <coughs> 30, uh, 30, 30, we started, uh, yeah. yeah. It's the book of Surah, chapter 33, verse 10. And all men are from the ground, Second Exodus, and six. Adam was created of earth. In much knowledge, the Most High had divided them and made their ways diverse. Now, the Most High made the, the ways of, of, the, of the people diverse, man. You know, it's not, uh, and even in the, if you go into the, the blessings, hey, you can keep reading, by the way. Some of them had he blessed and exalted, and some of them had he sanctified, and sat near himself. Can you get the uh, Psalm 27 and 22? 27? Some them, yeah, safe that in 22. But some of them had he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. God, you know, so, so again, some the most I had blessed, you know, and the others uh, had he cursed, man. You know, can you read the Psalm 27 and 22? This is Psalm chapter 37, verse 22. For just as he blessed of him, shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. You see, so, you know, again, can you read it again? Psalms 37 verse 22. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. Yeah, man, so, you know, the ones that are, are blessed of him, they're going to inherit the earth, man. The rest is going to be cut off, man. Esau is going to be uh, cut off, you know, he's going to uh, have his uh, fun right now. But the joy of a hypocrite is but for a moment, you know, and after that he's gonna, you know, be, uh, you know, he's gonna perish like his own dung, like shit, man. That's not a, not, not a good, uh, you know, f future, uh, basically, uh, to look forward to, man. You know, to be a shit perishing on the street, man, you know. You were this great guy, so-called, that everyone looked up to with your science and your, your bullshit, you know, science, falsely so-called. Because true science is this Bible, man. Science goes to uh, scientia. In the, uh, what was it, in the Latin or in the, you know, Greek. It all goes back to these uh, languages, man. It means to know. That's the point. So, to know is, you know, to really have the, the understanding, to, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to the spirit, man. And this, this comes through the word and through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Because wisdom coming from the Lord, man. It doesn't come from this damn devil, man. You know? The, this guy thinks he is the shit, man. You know, just like in the book of Second Thessalonians, he thinks that he, uh, you know, he ex exalts himself. Just like we uh, just read, you know, uh, you know, you shouldn't be extolling yourself. Uh, don't let your heart be uh, basically don't exalt yourself in your heart. Man. Don't extol yourself to a certain level. You know, because it's not good to lean upon your own understanding and to think that you are the one that has everything. Uh, you know, that is uh, the ultimate, uh, how you say that, wise man or whatever, you know? Because those who exalt themselves shall be, uh, shall be abased, man. You think you're something, you're going to be brought down very low. And that's what this devil is going to do, very low. Now we are cursed, we are the ones that are brought down very low. Why? You know, we walk uh, uh, after all these idols, we walk in pride, you know, are we, are we going to be cast down? <laughs> we were laughing. Look at us now, uh, look at, uh, at our people now, man, at the condition of the modern day Jake. Hey, you know, twerking up on a toddler, you know, uh, doing all types of wickedness, man. You know, selling dope, 
you know, being a, a, a bunch of pimps, you know, whoremongers, as the scriptures calls them, you know, being away from the true heritage, they're black now, you know. So they have to, they can't even tell the difference between, you know, a black uh, crayon and a, and a brown one. But the funny thing is, you know, when you go to these colors of animals, you have the black bear and the brown bear, there you see the difference. You see a black man in Wesley Snipes, but when the damn dark skinned coolie comes up, that's a brown man. While he's, he's, he, while he's darker than you, you know? Why, is he, why isn't the coolie black, you know? Certain things is just stupid, man. You're calling yourself after two continents, America and Africa. You're an African American, so you're off two seats. You're, you're basically in the spirit of these sodomites, you know? But the funny thing is, seats don't mix. Even Esau uh, knows that. That's why he's splicing everything up and coming up with these abominations, you know, which is a total GMO, man. Same thing with these uh, ligers and all that, man. That's, that's abomination, man. A lot of dog races. That's why a lot of animals are going to be built, uh, uh, are going to be uh, burned up because it's all uh, basically an, uh, a thing that Esau has built up, man, in his wickedness. So that's why Esau and his animals and all that shit needs to be burned up, man, because it has nothing to do with the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Um, let me see. To look something up. Can you look, uh, read the. Oh, you have the Deuteronomy, uh. <coughs> yeah, 8 and uh, 50 uh, about the old form of Adam. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided the. Na uh, like, yeah. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separates the sons of Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Yeah, man. Everyone has his uh, uh, certain portion, his uh, his lot, you know, his uh, yeah place where he dwells, you know, in his uh, place in this uh, in this movie, man. And people who, who still come out and claim that oh, we are all the same. We're not all the same, man. Some have be blessed, some have be cursed. Even of the children of Israel, the ones that are. You know, basically curse themselves. Even uh, the ones that uh, of Israel that are, you know, uh, reckoned into the uh, two thirds, they're gonna get their uh, portion, portion in this uh, earth as well. You know, their punishment, and after that, they're gonna come back to the elect man. So, all Israel shall be saved in, in the end, at the end of the day. But hey, the same, some must know it after death by pain, and that's still a horrible thing because the Most High is the king of terrors, man. So don't think you're gonna be like oh, Badoom and it's over, man. You know. So should yeah? I read nine now also? Yeah, if you, yeah, eight and nine only. Eight and nine. Yeah. Uh, verse nine. For Yahweh's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Yeah, man. So you know. The most highest portion is his people, man. You know, that is the the whole point. He had another one. What was it? Um, uh, I need to look it up. The form of all things. That, that's a, a scripture that uh, often also gets uh, twisted up. But um, yeah, man. So the portion of the most high is his own people, man. You know, he has the twelve tribes of Israel. The rest are just, uh, you know, extras in the in the movie that are playing their parts to show the people how not to live and, you know, and to give us uh, hell. And after that, they're going to be tributaries, man. And Esau's going to be eradicated at the end of the day, man. So uh, you can uh, go back to uh, the book of... Uh, I don't know, you can uh, read the uh, second answers, man. Six and... Uh, correct, uh, at 50... 54. Yeah. Uh, second answer is 6 and 54. Well, 50, uh, 54, yeah. And after this, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Yeah, man, so, you know, we all come of Adam, right? All right? That's what they love to say. We're all the same, right? No. Because the scriptures say what? And the people also, whom thou hast, hast chosen, yeah, we all come of Adam, and also the people whom thou hast chosen. So there's a distinction between the people that come of Adam and the chosen line, which also come of Adam. Man. Adam is just, you know, the first uh, first man, you know. The first nation of people are, are, are basically Adamites, man, Adamites, you know. They are of Adam, male and female, and they call them Adam. 
You know, as the scriptures say, man, you can go there in uh, Genesis. Uh, but you can keep reading. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. You but, see? So, yeah. But be like unto spittle. So the other nations, can you read it again? Can. As for the other people which also came, uh, slack. As for the other people which also come, came from of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. You see, so these other nations which also came of Adam, so you have the chosen line, and the other nations which are like it unto spittle, man. You know, they're, they're worthless. If you, yeah, can you keep reading? And has, li and has the likeness and the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. God, so they are likened to a drop that falls from a vessel. So if you have a vessel with water and a drop falls out, you're, like, you're not even thinking about it, man. You know? Because, you know, you have your, 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 your people already. You already have enough. This, this other, it doesn't matter, man. They're going to be, you know, they're worthless, man. It's nothing. It's just like, uh, you know, you, you have your favorites and the rest, they just, eh, that's, that's them. You know, let them do their thing, and at the end of the day, they're going to be taken out of the way anyway, man. You know, we already, uh, the most I has is his portion, which is uh, the children of Israel. So, yeah, read. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathens which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us. You see, so these heathens, as is was complaining, like, these heathens... Which have been ever, which ever have been reputed as, as nothing. So they are nothing. They, they, they. That's what they're known for, man. They are nothing, man. They are heathen nations, but they have become uh, uh, to be lords over us. And just like in these days, you see these stupid people uh, 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 bringing like fucking donkeys. Those are are now the kings of the earth, man. You know, those are the ones that took, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, English. And now use it as their language, but you know now in this uh, time and age, you know is is their language. They have their dollars, you know, of Babylon, which people need to be uh, doing international business with, because the dollar is like welcome almost everywhere in the earth, man. You know, so that shows you who the 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 the, the big man is, man. You know, they are the ones that uh, you know the the whore that write upon uh, upon the scarlet scarlet beast, man. They are the ones that that control, you know, all these damn devils here in Europe, man. But soon, it's gonna be, uh, you know, you already see that uh, that prophecy of Daniel, you know, uh, of that, that Daniel, the second chapter, you know, the dream of Nebuchadnezzar about the statue, those toes, you know, the, the uh, toes that are, you know, uh, iron mixed with miry clay, it's already breaking apart, man. You know, they, they not tight anymore. You know, it's partly strong and weak. And you see the weakness uh, coming up right now with all these damn rules. One follows this rule, the other one is saying, "Oh, we need to do this." Then we have Brexit. Then you have with the, uh, you know, the, the customs, the whole, uh, you know, everything is falling apart, man. With the fishing now, you know, if you want to go to England with the, with fishing, you need to take a very good look at, you know, all these uh, uh, the costs, the, the 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 customs, you know, and all that bullshit, and where you can fish and where not. You know, to stay out of trouble, man. So these people can't get it together anymore, and eventually they will fall apart, man. You know, and they might think that they're gonna set up this uh, new world order, but it will be put to a stop, man. And while they are going towards that, you can see a lot of, uh, you know, strife between them as well, man. Huh? Can I, can yeah. I, uh, add on what you say, because huh? you also see that, you know, concerning what they do with the uh, with the Rona rules, you know. They put, uh, like each other, uh, other country puts another country on high risk, you know. Yeah. So they also did it re recently, uh, like Austria did it recently with Holland. They put Holland, like, uh, 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 on a high risk. And all the people from Holland, they want to go on a winter sport uh, yeah. uh, holiday, vacation. Uh -huh. And now they're fucked, so they have to go there. They need, an, like, an extra jab. They took the, the booster, and that's not enough. They need an extra jab, and they have to go in... Uh, 
uh, quarantine if they uh, reach there, you know. So there goes your uh, winter holiday. Mm -hmm. right? yeah, man. <laughs> still people will book extra long uh, holidays to uh, go there, man. And certain, certain people, uh, even at my job, some uh, female was talking about uh, that uh, they could schedule an early uh, appointment to get the, you know, the poison to be able to go on vacation, to book the vacation, man. Because now they have to see like, oh yeah, can I uh, go to that country? I need to book this and that uh, in, in time before everything, you know, uh, changes up. Same thing when you go to Portugal, it's, it's other rules over there as well, man. So I, I know people that, that went there to Portugal and to, uh, you know, that wanted to go to Austria as well. And you need, really need to take a good look at the rules and regulations. And that shows you that everyone is doing its own thing. But it's also to vex the people, of course, man. Because mm -hmm. they want to break the spirits of the people so that they all will be doing anything, you know, in their uh, power to get this uh, damn poison. And eventually, you know, more and more and more to get them to, to jump to their hoops. Because every time when they take away their uh, privileges, they're going to be a uh, able to farm to, to, to push the people in the corner, you know, by saying like, hey, if you want this, then, you know, you have to take this. You know, and then they start, burp, 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 you know, and then they start jumping through hoops again to get the, the poison. Eventually, you're breaking yourself down, man, through all that poison, man. Eventually, you have like 10 jabs or whatever, how many jabs, because this is a continual thing. You know, in Aus uh, Australia, they already had uh, a, a guy saying from the government, if I'm correct, you know, well, that was on video saying like, yeah, we already have, uh, you know, jabs for the coming seven years, man. And there they have internment camps, you know, a.k.a. FEMA camps. People filmed already that they were in these camps, you know, uh, being quarantined. So there's a lot of stuff going on that, uh, you know, we've been talking about, man. These uh, FEMA camps and Esau, be, you know, uh, that he's making ready the, you know, the coming, uh, so like the J uh, Jacob's trouble, man. So that means... And it's gonna come upon all the earth, man. People think oh, I got a safe spot. You, you, you have nothing if you don't have Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, the Most High is the only one who can protect you, man. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's why for us, man, we chilling, man. We chilling now, literally, because <laughs> it's cold as shit. <coughs> but you know, we doing our thing, man. This is not gonna be for nothing, man. Yahweh Dzah, you know, this is not gonna be for nothing, man. You know, Yara Dazar, we're going to continue in this, man. That's why I say, you know, Lord willing, Yara Dazar. You know, because the Most High will reward the ones who keep on pushing, man. Because this is nothing anyway. What do we have here? Let's just say, okay, now you take this damn fucking uh, poison. What are you going to do then? You're still in the same shit, though. Because people that have been jabbed up are at the same in the same situation as the people who haven't been jabbed up because they need to still go and test to be able to go from one country to the, to the other, man, in certain uh, cases, man. So you're still fucked up, man. Except, except if I'm correct, if you go to Bangladesh or whatever, uh, you know, that's out, outside the Schengen area, you know, you have certain uh, treaties that they have with each other, but if you're outside certain areas, they're not that, that uh, messed up or not even, uh, you know, uh, uh, down with the whole uh, C-19, man. So you have certain spots in the world where, you know, you you still go to, but, you know, still, if you want to go here on the, on the airplane, what do you need to do? Yeah. You know, you still need to be tested, you know, and have certain uh, poison in your system. You know, it's either one way or the other. So it, it makes no damn sense. And you still have to keep keep on going, man. You know, you keep going, on, man. <laughs> you know, you have to keep inside joke. You have to keep... You know, pushing that uh, freaking needle in your, in your damn arm, man. To be able to uh, go on vacation or whatever. So, yeah, Marie. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathens which ha have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Yeah, man. So these people are devouring, uh, you know, the people, especially our people, man. You know, but the funny thing is that they will be devoured, man. Those who devoured us, they shall be devoured, man. Can you look that up, uh, if correct, Jeremiah? Huh? Let me look it up. Can you read? But we, thy people, whom thou hast called it thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and the fearful, um, favored lover, yeah, uh, 
are given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess and inherit, inherit it with the world? Yeah. How long shall the, this endure? Okay. That was it, right? That was it. Yeah, and so now, if you read it again, the last uh, verse, you see now that, uh, you know, these devils have, uh, uh, you know, become, uh, you know, rulers over us but in, in, in rigor, man. The same thing in Egypt, man. It's no new thing under the sun in Egypt. Because a lot of people, they say, oh, we are, uh, of, 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 of Ken, man. We are uh, Africans. No, you're yeah, not. And Africa is still named after uh, uh, a white man, so-called, man. Leo Scipio Africanus. So what, what are you naming yourself after, man? You'd rather be named after the damn enemy than after, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know you tr your true forefather, man, Jacob. You know, Yaikwab. You know, later Israel, Yashallah. Because we are Israelites, man, whether you like it or not. And the most I do it for the difference between Israel and these damn Egyptians, man. As the scriptures say, man, in uh, Exodus 11 and 7. So, it is what it is, man. A lot of people still want to, uh, you know, uh, go to Egypt, man. Just like back in the days. Oh, it was so bad in here, man. We, we got everything, man. Water, uh, you, you have everything. You know, later you wanted, uh, you know, some... Uh, Get manna, and then you want meat. You know, still we're, 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 we're murmuring. You got meat. You know, and even eh? yeah, quail falling from the sky. Yeah, man. You got quails. The most I gave you gave you meat. Later, even in the times of the Greeks, it's the same shit. The same spirit popped up right again, man. Right, and then their heritage, everything went out the window, man. Because you wanted to make leagues with uh, your enemies, which is off. According to the law, you can't make leagues, man, with these, with these damn uh, enemies, man. And that's what that what uh, uh, is what caused Israel to lose, uh, you know, uh, its inheritance, man, and, or in, not inheritance. Uh, I say that basically your identity, man. You know, making yourself uncircumcised, man, which is you going to be because uh, within Israel you have the law of you know, the eight day circumcised as a boy so that's the covenant between uh, you know uh, us uh, you know the most high and us you know we need to be circumcised man so now you became uncircumcised by following basically you just like the uncircumcised like the the people that are out there in the world basically man that's just what it is man doing whatever the hell they want to do you know teaching your children that you can be whatever you want to be and that ends up with you know, places like uh, this with billboards with sodomites on it. You know, that's why Esau wants you to be lawless, to forget who you are and to be able to uh, keep on punishing you because you know that uh, Esau knows that sin separates you from your uh, maker. If, let me see, what was it in Psalm of Aslaki and Isaiah? Uh, what was it, man? You can, you can read that one again. Okay, then I look up this. 50, 59. If the world now be made for our sake, why do we not possess and inherit it with the world? How long shall this endure? Yeah, man, so if the world is created for our sakes, you know, why are we in this uh, predicament? Man? Why, why are we being uh, smitten and brought down low and ruled over by a bunch of them? You know, bring monkeys, man. If they drink, they start that monkey in the donkey sounds again, man. You know, the same thing goes on. Sometimes even I was mocking him, <laughs> you know, at my job. You know, when we finish something, me and Jay Carly, you know, when we finish something like in the AM, we got it done. They, I, on purpose, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, you know to, 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 to proclaim certain, uh, you know, of these clubs, you know, of fire noise, you know, because that's what these dumbass people do, man. Sometimes we just look at them and we start laughing, but you know, we have the uh, inside jokes. But it is what it is, man. That's what they do, man. <laughs> you know, it's the songs. If you take a look at the lyrics, it's just stupid, man. It's just, just, just a bunch of, a bunch of folly. Even uh, one of the brothers recorded the voice memo of his, you know, him vexing himself. 
<laughs> because you hear the brain of these damn donkeys and monkeys around them, man. You know? You know, you know it's talking all types of nonsense, man. But that's what we have to uh, put up with right now, man. You know, we living in the times where we are being punished, but also while we are in this punishment, you know, through these uh, adverse times, the, the adversity that we are going through, we are being formed, man, to a man that the most I will accept, you know. So with that, it's, it's the same, uh, uh, you, you being now among your enemy, man. And, you know, the, the, the thought even, man, of, you know, walking down the streets, no damn devil in the street, man, looking at you. When you go into the store, no damn devil making, yeah, I think I need to, this and that. you know, no damn fucking devil, you know, being in front of you, you know, taking too damn long or whatever, you know, doing something stupid, looking at you funny, you know, making stupid ass jokes, you can't buzz his head in because, you know, it's not the time yet, but soon, we will trade upon them, man. We will trade, trade upon their necks. Yeah, man, I made a video and if you look at the <laughs> real quick, real quick. It was really a little bit too, uh, you know, too much with the title. You know, <laughs> spiritual power coming. We will tread upon their necks. Yeah, I was like, I don't think it's the wise thing to do. I was like, fuck it, let me upload it. And it was gone. You know, so I changed the other one. and But still, man. Certain things you can't say, man. It's straight out the scriptures, but you it's can't. It's getting more. It's getting more and more. You're getting more and more words, man. Yeah, man. <coughs> Especially with me, man. Like I already said, even with with the channel that was gone, and for some reason, man, a video of mine got struck, man. <laughs> but it's good, man. I I like that you heard, man. I like it, cause I will make more channels. I have a few more channels. I don't use them. So, I don't, I don't even really mind, man. It's, it's a bit annoying sometimes, but hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, let me see. Uh, you can go back to uh, Sirach 33. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 33. And, uh, uh, let me see, verse 13. <coughs> As the clay is in the porter's hand, to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made it, to render to them as like it him best. Yeah, my soul is like the clay. You have, uh, 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 you know, you have someone that, that makes uh, sculptures or whatever, or that makes uh, vessels out of clay. You have this this this, this machine. You have like a, you know like a pedal that you make the thing spin, and the the potter he makes the, the the vessel according to his liking the same thing with the most high man you can't say like the vessel that is on that thing being formed can't say like hey you need to be a little bit this like a little bit more you know round or whatever nah man you can't you're just the lump of clay that that is being fashioned to the liking of the creator man and the most high he creates every he created everything to his liking and that's it man to fit him best because certain prophecies need to pop off also so if everyone is the same how can war break out man if everyone loves each other how can war break out how can certain evil uh, evils be done in the earth you know there needs to be a bad guy man and good guys because you know bad and, 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 and you know good and bad goes it's, it's it goes against each other man. just like light and darkness you know are two different things you know, you have good and bad things, man. And even, yeah, can you continue there? Good is set, good is set against evil, yes. and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. Yeah, man, and that's what it is, man. Can you get the uh, Psalms 37? And you can start at the, let me see. I know it's one in twelve, you have a few in there, man. So I'll read the first fifty? Wait a minute. I need one to go to Psalm uh to Psalm first. Uh thirty-seven and um twenty-seven? No, uh bo -bo 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 -bo. it's also a good precept for what I was reading, man. The one we were reading earlier. Verse 
verse uh, 12. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 12. The wicked plotted against the just and gnashed upon him with his teeth. The most high shall laugh at him, for he see that his day is coming. Yeah, man, so the wicked plotted against the just, man. Because if you go to the scriptures, can you get the Proverbs 29 and 27? You can stay in the book of Psalms, man. Uh, you can uh, continue reading. So, you know, that's why, you know, they hate them that rebuke it at the gate, man. They hate them that rebuke it in the gate, if, in the gates of the city, you know, where wisdom is crying uh, without, you know. That means we, we wisdom is crying out in the streets, man, prophesying against this wicked kingdom, prophesying against these people, man, and taking our people, you know, uh, and talking to our people, man that they need to repent. We are admonishing our people, you know, we are warning them and, 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 and bringing them back, you know, the ones that need to come back. We're bringing them, in, uh, at least we're bringing them back into remembrance that, that you know, we are the children of the Havabah Shai, man. We are the children of, of, of Israel. We need to repent, man. We need to turn back. And you can only turn back if you've been a part of uh, something already. You know, you can't just go to uh, uh, something and, yeah, I'm back. No, you never been here before, man. You know, we are the children of Israel and we need to come back into the Heavenly Father, man. That's why we out here, you know, it doesn't matter if it's cold as hell like now or if it's, uh, you know, hot. You know, we, we out here, man. We have to do this, man. And it's in the spirit and it's all a gift of Yahweh Basham Shai, man. It's all true spirit of the Most High, man. It's not of men, you know. That men should be boasting and uh, you think like, hey, I did, I've done this, man. You know, I'm so great. You know, no, man, it's not that, man. I'm the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> and look at that dude, man. Damn. <laughs> that shows you also that, you know, we ain't in control, man. We ain't in control, man. Because you had you Hefner that was doing all types of sodomy shit and, and all types of, uh, you know, he based his philosophy, his philosophies were, were based upon uh, uh, the workings of a pedophile, man. You know, who who brought all types of uh, like uh, that sexual sexual education was also based upon pedophilia, man. You know, upon a guy that was testing out uh, uh, you know uh, certain things on children, man. And upon that, you know, he made his uh, sexual. Uh, I say that uh, basically his. The way the way sexual education. Education. Yeah. Yeah, I just said it, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's, that's how you see it, man. That these, pedo uh, these, these pedophiles, you know, they're, in, they're being punished like that, man. If you are uh, going to be, you know, thrown under the bus with the most of them, are just doing the things behind the scenes, man. Because all these uh, so-called elites, you know, they do all that, uh, all that shit, man. Look at the Podesta files, man, with, uh, you know, the pizza gate thing. Now they, 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 they put it right there under the rug, you know. <laughs> but it's still going on, man. All your judges, and all your your uh, you know your your uh, politicians, they all do sacrifices, rape their children, eat children, drink blood, you know. And that's how they get their uh, things going, man. To get their power to the left hand side, you know, they uh, please uh, Satan, man. Uh, was uh, yeah, you were reading. Come. Uh, the wicked plotted against the. Let me read it again. Uh, Psalms chapter 37, verse 12. The wicked plotted against the just and gnashed upon him with his teeth. The Most High shall laugh at him, for he see that his day is coming. Yeah, man. So, and how is the Most High speaking? He's speaking to his servants, the prophets, man. So, we're going to laugh at these uh, people, man, because we see the end of the devil, of this, this rulership coming, man, of this eon, this age of uninterrupted rulership, man. You know, you have three different types of uh, uh, worlds, man. You have uh, you have uh, Eon, this uh, uninterrupted age of rulership. You have Cosmos, you know, this arrangement of uh, of, uh, of people. You know, it could be the world of skateboarding, the world of uh, soccer, the world of you know. And you have uh, Oikos, which is the the world itself, the globe, the, you know. So this Eon, this world, will end, man. The world of Esau will end. The world of wickedness will end. Because goodness and, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
righteousness will flourish, man, in the kingdom to come. Now it's already uh, budding up and flourishing because the flower is budding up and flourishing. And you already see the, the that part, but the true establishing of a uh, righteous kingdom will come next, man. You know? It will come when this kingdom, and this kingdom needs to go down, man, for the other to, uh, to come in, you know? Like the apostles who were going in, you know? Uh, now, we're in the time that Israel is being awakened, man. You know, the day of Esau is, uh, is ending, man. And when the, when the morning comes, when you are shy, you know, uh, uh, he's, he, he will come back, man. And he will establish that uh, when we go to the morning, that's our, our kingdom right there, man. So this, this uh, uh, in a spiritual sense, and yeah, basically that, you know, the, the, the windows are darkened, man. The future of Esau, you know, is, is looking very dark, man. Because that is like uh, in his progress, oh, you have a very bright future ahead of you, son. No, you don't, son, because the windows are darkened. So if you try to stare, you can't, you can't see it. It's dark, man. It's done. You're done, man. Can you continue reading in, um, let me see, what was it? Psalms? Yeah, man. Psalms 37 and uh, 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such of Slucky and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Yeah, man, so they, you see, they are, are out there to slay such as be of upright conversation, man. That speak about the scriptures, that speak about, you know, uh, righteousness, about Yahweh Bashan and Yahweh Shai, about who his people are, about the wickedness in this earth that, that needs to stop. Those are the targets, man. So they claim to be God fearing citizens or whatever they are, but yet when you speak about uh, the Heavenly Father, they get mad. Now, why is that? Because they ain't written in, uh, you know, the Book of Life, man, the Kingdom to Come. Esau ain't got nothing to do with that, man. They're gonna be, you know, blotted out, man. That's why they mad. And they're being confronted with their end. Every time we are opening our mouth in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, they're like, damn, he's these, these Damn, I mean, it's again, man. You know, all the millions, billions, and trillions we we spend, to, you know, keep this thing hidden away. Still, they come out because the spirit. You can do nothing against the truth, but forward, man. You know. Um, let me see, cause I had a few precepts in there. Precepts, precepts. You can. Uh, You can go to the book of, uh, let me see. Already uh, okay, jump to uh, uh, Psalm 34 and uh, 21. You. Because that's not done yet, man. Seven is not done. No, I don't want to pull no piece of it. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, man. The hand shoe is fucking it up. The hand shoe. The hand shoe. You're <laughs> using that regalian in. Yeah, man. Gloves, man. The it's, gloves. It's rough enough. <laughs> Though he fall, he shall not be no, utterly... No, 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 34 and 21? 34 and 21, so yeah. okay. And Psalms 37 also, uh, that's not done. Okay. Psalms chapter 34, verse 21. Evil shall, lay the, so like, evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Yeah, man, so evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate, man. You're gonna be out of here, man. You know, he's gonna get your punishment, man. So, can you go back to, uh... 37? Yeah. Okay. Psalm 37, verse, uh... 24. No, you can go to 32. 32. Oh, yes. Psalm chapter 37, verse 32. 
The wicked watches the righteous and seek to slay him. Yeah, the, man. Go on. Tree, tree. the Most High will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when, it's, when he is judged. Yeah, man. Okay, go to Psalm 94 and 21. So, we, you know, now, you know, we are in the hands of these, these devils. But, you know, we're going to be safe out of these uh, devils' hands, man. We're going to be, you know, on top again, man. Not the tail. We're going to be the head, man. Because the curses will uh, soon... Be, you know, they are already being lifted up off of us because you see the, the children of these devils being harlots, you know. They are fighting, the divorce rate is going sky high, you know, with these devils. Well, it, is, it was a great shame and still is a shame. Well, nowadays, they like to be harlots, so it's not that shameful anymore. But back in the days, if you were divorced, you would look, look at like, hey, damn, she's divorced. Mm -hmm. You know, you would be the talk of the town, man. You will be a straight up hoe. <laughs> oh, she didn't take care of her husband. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to be looked at very funny. And now it's normal, man. It's crazy. And they even push adultery, you know. Yeah. Second life, you know. Or second you want, love. Yeah. yeah, man, second love. Yeah, that was, yeah. <coughs> yeah, man, so, you know. Just commercials. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, commercials, big ass billboards, you know. And it's just out there next to the freeways, you know, the highways, whatever. It's you written, uh, the subtext is saying, uh, not only for singles. Yeah, yeah. Special, especially, for, especially for, for second love are, is uh, especially for people who are married. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. So something yeah, man, like those. that. Some crazy shit. Man. Yeah, man. You know, on these websites as well, man. Yeah, people that are married, they, you know, they don't give a fuck. You know, you, you know, you can come by. You know, uh, my husband. Uh, you know, that, 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 that. that. They, they do it behind the backs of their husbands, man. Yeah, or with, or or with them, the yeah, cuckolds. You know, yeah, they the open uh, relationship. Yeah, man. Yeah. And that's. That's that's going into uh, being open-minded. Is uh, going into being simple, man. Because I went into that. Uh, you know, if you uh, how long will you simple ones love simplicity? Mm -hmm. If you go into the word simple, it goes into being naive and open-minded. You know, you being naive, you being stupid, man. Mm -hmm. Nice guys finish last, right? No, mm -hmm. naive. That's that that word nice. Also, uh, if you look up the etymology, it also goes into being naive, man. You know, you being uh, you know. You mean silly, stupid? Stupid, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Being, just, you mean unwise, basically, man. But, um, can you get Psalm 94 and 21? This book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 21. They gathered themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But the Most High is my defense, and my power is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, the Most High, our power, shall cut them off. Yeah, man, so eventually, man, they, they condemn, you know, the, the, the innocent, man. They come against the righteous. But eventually, you know, they will be uh, recompensed for all that uh, wickedness that they have been doing against the ones that are standing here, you know, for the for the truth, man. Let me see. Yeah, man, you're also, man. So it shall be baited in heaven. It's going to be a lot of... Can you get the... Uh, Isaiah 30, 34, verse, uh, uh, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 6. The sword of the Most High is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats. With the fat of kidneys of rams, for the Most High had a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Yeah, man, the Most High's going to get rid of these devils, man. You know, it's a, uh, if you go to uh, uh, Ezekiel 25, and if you have precepts, bring out precepts, man. I had, uh, let me see. Yeah. Ezekiel 25. Or you can go to uh, yeah, Ezekiel 25 and uh, 12. You can go to uh, Isaiah 63. There's a lot of things, man. Obadiah, you know what I'm saying? The book of Obadiah. <laughs> That's where it all started today. <laughs> yeah. Ezekiel 25 and 12? Yeah, man. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, because the, that Adum had 
Edom, Slaki, that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. You see, man and beast will be cut off from it, man. Because it needs to be uh, like that because all of the wicked splicing and abominable creatures that they've been, been uh, you know, uh, also yeah, created and that they have laid down with as well, you know, in their sacrifices and you name it, man. Huh? <laughs> and I will make it desolate from Taman and they of the Didan. They of the Dan, yeah, Taman and the Dan, you know, the places where all them, you know, the, the so called smart Edomites, you know, I call them like the smartest, painful, you know, bright, you know, them scientists, them, them uh, you know, people that uh, bring in this technology where they are dwelling, they're gonna be brought down too, man. So by uh, so far by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. And they say, by the way, that uh, that is uh, uh, you know uh, Germany, man. Mm -hmm. Because Germany has a lot of technology, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing like a German uh, car, or German engineering. That's what they're saying. And a lot of stuff that comes from Germany is uh, uh, that shit works good, boy. Mm -hmm. yeah, washing machines and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, man. A lot of that stuff, man. From, from uh, you know, stereos to washing machines to, uh, you know, certain cars, man. They made it good, man. You know? Huh? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel, and they shall do. And, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance. Say it. Say it the Lord Yahweh. You see, so they shall do according to my anger, according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance. So anger, fury, vengeance, you know, God is love. <laughs> I just want to say that. You know, that's what they say. You know, the most high is a man of war, man. You know, as the scriptures say, man, in the book of uh, Exodus, man. So the most high is going to use his people, you know, and to, to beat these people small, man. All these hills, all these, uh, 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 you, know, uh, you know, governments, these mountains and these hills, these great governments and smaller governments will be beaten into powder, man. They will be, in, will be beaten small because there will be no governments of any heathen left when the Lord is, is, is done with this place, with his elect, man. You are the South, we are all of these, uh, these, these men that are going to beat these people small, man. Can you go to... Uh, uh, Jeremiah 51. If you have a precept, you can bring it up. Yeah. And the cold, I ain't gonna miss the cold neither, man. Damn. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jeremiah 51? <coughs> yeah, I'm at 51 and, uh, let me see. About, uh, let me see, man. <laughs> no, you, if you have the third pages, you like, you don't even feel them, man. <laughs> uh, 20. 20? Yeah, yeah man. Uh, Jeremiah 51 and 20. <laughs> so like, I was like, I'm gonna let y'all grab all the princess. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna put both hands in my pockets, man. Y'all get the bitch. <laughs> you wicked shit, man. Not taking nothing. <laughs> man. <laughs> Just breathe. <laughs> breathe. I, don't ask me no questions. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, but we're gonna we're laughing now. <laughs> well, hey, it is what it is, man. We're out here, man. We need to be out here, man. Hey, this is gonna be. Hey, we have had times to be way that hey, my brothers were like, especially <laughs> under that tunnel. Yeah, Woo! Man. I never forget that, man. You see? It's, my it's... whole arm was frozen up, man. <laughs> <laughs> From the elbow and up, up, man. No feeling, man. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and I had to hold the camera. Everybody was moving to keep still a little bit warm. Yeah, man. At the, hey, oh, if you hold man. the camera, you oh, can't be man. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> become seasick, man. Dancing and moving. Yeah, man. That was horrible, man. <laughs>
I will never forget that, man. Hey, man. <laughs> she brought this moving. Yeah, I never saw him move, move like that, man. I was like, damn. Man. You know what it's called, man. Roger was walking up and down the stairs. She yeah. had to get some <laughs> Hey, man. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah, you man. You survived that, you know? Yeah, man. <laughs> After you're always happy, man. It just feels good to do that for you. I will watch your shine, man, you know? So, so, this yeah. is nothing, man. This is nothing. Hey, hey. This hey. is nothing. Yeah, man. <laughs> God. I ain't go. Jeremiah 51 and 20. <coughs> Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war. For with thee will I break in peace, uh, uh, pieces the nation, uh, the nations. Let me start again. 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee. Will I break in pieces the horse and his rider? Yeah, man. So everything, man. Nowadays, if you need to think, uh, if you think about, you know, horse and his rider, you know, you can think about the vehicle with its, uh, you know, with its, uh, with the man, with the soldier behind the wheel, you know. So you can think about the armored uh, truck. You can think about, you know, uh, trucks, cars, you know. And you're gonna smash them just like Hulk smashes all these things and all these. Uh, you know, these uh, so-called superheroes are smashing up all these uh, vehicles of the enemies that are trying to, you know, take them down, man. Like paper. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> going to be easy, easy money. Easy. So, the Most High is going to use, you know, uh, his elect to, you know, to um, stomp on these uh, damn devils, man. You know, we're going to tread upon their nests. That's, that's what the scriptures say, man. You know, that's another uh, part that these devils don't want, uh, you know, to come out. That's why they're mad when we make, when we make videos, and we we laughing, man. If they see they ain't got no, uh, you know, they ain't got no grip on, on us, man. Well, we can't go to the theater. I don't give a shit. I watch it in the house, you know, for free, for free anyway. Drink, you know, drink my own favorite beer. Yeah, man. I got my got my, you know, my my drinks there. You know, if I don't want to drink, I don't. You know, I can be yeah. chilling. You can pass it out yeah. in the movie. Yeah, man. <laughs> Go to the toilet. Yeah, man. I'm going to say that. You need, need to take a leap. You know? <laughs> Put it on pause. Boom. No one's like, hey, man, get out the way, man. <laughs> you know? You can rewind it. Yeah, man. I mean, you see that part? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Man. Rewind it again. Yeah, man. That's what we do, man. Some things they like to go over you. They like to put it fast. Yeah. yeah. Go they go over man. your head. Yeah. Like, whoa, what did they just Rewind say? Rewind it. Rewind. Check it out again. Yeah. No problem, man. We're chilling at home, man. If someone wants to come and visit, hey, they can come and visit. No problem at all, man. The best. Talk too much. <laughs> yeah, and also that. That's also in your, in, you know, in your hand then, man. You can answer the door if you just like, uh, you know. <laughs> no, that's I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Marie. Yeah. And and with thee will I break in pieces the chariots and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break pieces the young man and the maid. Yeah, man, the young man and the maid. So the females, y'all gonna get your stool, man. You got a precept on it. Yeah, read. Really? It's Malachi chapter 4. It's like your first uh, three. And you shall tread down the wicked, for there shall be ashes under the soles of our feet in the day that I shall do this, said yeah. the Most High of hosts. Yeah, man, it's gonna trample upon them, man. Like ashes, is gonna be... You know? They're gonna be nothing, nothing, man. That's a beautiful thing, you know. When we get this power, Yahweh Desire, when we're gonna be changed, Yahweh Desire again. You know, getting spiritual uh, bodies, no more pain, no more suffering, you know, no more cold. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have that that power. You're gonna feel 100%, you know, hyped up, powered up, man. You know, no more weaknesses, you know, sicknesses, you know. Yes. Yeah. Gonna mm -hmm. be like like them birds, man. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Can you get the uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 41 and uh, I just want to read 41 and 15. <coughs> oh yeah, that's not. Like Can you get Micah uh, five or seven? God. And 
also, um, can you get the buru, well, by the way, man? Oh, I just had it, man. About the trading up on the next. So, mm -hmm. buru, I just had it. Four and 28 or something. You have the song? Of the song, the Isaiah. Isaiah 41 and 15. 15. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Yeah, man. It's gonna be, you know, just like chaff is like a uh, part of the grain that you don't use, man. You know? It's the, the outside, it's gonna be. That's what's gonna happen to these other nations. They're wor it's worthless, and they're gonna be. You know, blown away as chaff uh, in the wind, man. You know, we're gonna beat this, these hills small. You know, all these, uh, these, uh, these, these mountains and hills, the mountains are big governments and the lesser governments are the hills, you know, and all them governments are gonna be, you know, put out of power, man, you know? <coughs> Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in Yahweh, and shall and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, man. On that day, we're going to be very happy, man. It's just like in uh, uh, Psalms 100 and... Can uh, uh, okay, you get that? Psalms 149. You know, they shall sing aloud upon that bed. Can you read the... Treading down? On the net? It's chapter 4, right? Yeah, and around... Let me take a look at it, man. It can also be chapter 2, man. Let me... Oh. Uh, 30, it's verse 34, if I'm correct. 4 and 34? Come on. Yeah? No. No, it's... Um, Five 25, yeah, 25, man. My children? Yeah. Come on. Uh, <coughs> Baruch chapter 4, verse 25. What did you just read? Micah 4 and 30? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I have this preach up here, yeah. And Micah 5 and uh, Amos 9 and King Amos 9 and 13. And uh, uh, I already asked you, Micah, can you get Micah 5? <coughs> Brother. It's <laughs> <coughs> 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 Yeah. That's right! <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man, we're out here, man. Micah What's 5, you started from 6 till the end? Uh, I think yes. I think yes. You think yes? Yeah, I think yes. I think that's And I'm saying no! <laughs> <laughs> Micah 5 from 8 to 9, but if you want to start from 6, go ahead, brother. <laughs> To what up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, this is the book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 6. And they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword, and the land of Nimrod and in the entrance thereof. Thus shall he deliver us from the Assyrian when he cometh into our land, and when he treadeth within our borders. Yeah, and then now the modern day Assyrians. You know, you can put that on these devils, man. You know? So it's the same thing. It's going to happen. Like back in the days, you know, Nimrod is uh, from uh, Kush, you know, which is Ham. You know, which, uh, you know, is also being celebrated, you know, during this uh, wicked uh, uh, festivity, which they call Christmas. You know? It, that, that dude is being uh, reverenced, man. You know, and you see that uh, the streets here are empty now, man. Are empty. There's a few people left and right, but the thing, like the brother also noticed on the on the highways was was packed, man. Yeah. People were all going to Granny's house, you know. <laughs> and they took that booster. They took that booster. So it's, it's always safe. <laughs> yeah, but the funny thing is now during the holidays of the unholy days, as, as, as we call them, because they are un unholy. This, this, they're not uh, sanctified. You know, yeah, in the, in the devil's mind, but they're not holy, man. They're not uh, something to be ex extol uh, extolling or, uh, you know, exalting. Uh, and you see that these devils now, now they have the chance to go there with four persons, mm. you know, 
instead of two. Yeah. Because yeah. now they had the rules sharp enough. Yeah, only two persons in the house and uh, da, da 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 da. But now, especially during these these the satanic uh, unholy days, now they are allowed to have four people in the house. Mm. So what's that about, man? And also with the so-called New Year's, which is uh, falsely so uh, so called, because you they are worshiping uh, 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 Janus. You know the 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 the, the god of uh, new beginnings and whatever, man. She two-faced god, and Janus was also goes back to January, man. You know all their gods, you know, and if you even go uh, all their their festivities goes back to the celebration of their gods, man. You know that's what it is. If you take take a look at uh, these uh, satanic, uh, um, I'm gonna go into that in a minute. These satanic, uh, let me just look it up. These satanic ritual abuses, which they are uh, always uh, busy with. Let me see the open. You have like a website, the open scroll. SRAs. You have a list of satanic, uh, you know, um, as they call it, uh, holidays, SRAs. And January 1st, New Year's Day, they have a, it's a Druid feast day, man. From age uh, 15 till uh, like 33, this is what they get down. How they get down. And you already know what's going to happen in, in, in those days, man. Uh, and uh, it's a lot of sacrifices because it's, it's a very dark day. And, you know, from 00 to 001, what what changed, man? Nothing. Yeah, the, the you know, the, the digits change from zero, zero, uh, zero to zero, 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 one. That's the only thing, man. With us, how about showing your shy? You go from sundown to sundown, man. These devils do, they, they change every, they should change, to, uh, think to change times and laws, man. To think, but we know, man. Uh, here, and uh, let me see if they have something more here. Yeah? There's more with December 24th is demon revels. You know, reveling, uh, you know, go 